welcome back. Today I thought I'd share with you a cool massage oil you guys can make in a few minutes that you can use on partners, friends, family to help with massaging out like injuries, knots, and, or just to do for fun. It's a lot healthier than other massage oils that contain like chemical ingredients and things that might not be great for your body. So this one's a completely all natural massage oil that is made with a few all natural ingredients. You probably have a lot of them at home already so that makes it a lot easier to make as well. And it's a great thing to use especially in quarantine when you have a lot of time on your hands to give a few massages to those friends, family or even on your on yourself. So the ingredients you're going to need today are some avocado oil, so some of that, some vegetable glycerin just like this one. I got this one from Now Foods. I love their brand. I find that they're completely all natural so they don't contain any fillers or things and stuff like that in their products. And this is also recommended off It's Blitz. Yeah, so if you're looking for a really clean product or brands to shop from, now is a great one. I just got this off Amazon and I'll link it down below where I found it for you guys. The reason why we use vegetable glycerin as well is because it gives a natural warming sensation on your skin. So when you rub this mixture onto your skin, it's naturally going to heat up with your skin and allow you to penetrate any problematic areas on your body that you want to relieve of tension. Then you're going to need some vitamin E oil and as I've mentioned in the past, vitamin E oil is wonderful for skin. And then finally you're going to use some eucalyptus oil which is going to help with sore muscles. All you're going to need is a bottle to pour everything into. Too. This is the only tincture bottle that I had at home left, so this is why it has this type of screw lid, the dropper. You probably don't need that one, you could just have a normal lid and just pour a little bit onto your hands, but if you have a dropper like me, very helpful as well, because you just drop a little bit onto your hands and use as needed. Anywho, so this is the one I'm using. It doesn't even have to be dark, you can use a clear one as well, it's up to you. So to start with, you're going to use some avocado oil. You're going to pour that into your glass bottle until it reaches about three quarters of the way full. So you guys can see, I'll shake it a little bit so you can see that's where it reaches on mine. So basically almost all the way with avocado oil. And I'm going to add in two teaspoons of vegetable glycerin. Now you're going to add in five drops of vitamin E oil and five drops of eucalyptus oil. Now I'm going to pop the lid in. Hopefully it doesn't overflow. Just fits. There you go. You're just going to shake it up so it's all nice and combined. And just make sure to shake it up every time you go to use it as well to make sure that nothing's separated in there. Especially because we're not using any like fillers and other additives like that. So just make sure to shake it up and then it's ready to go. I'll show you what it looks like so you can see. And then if I was to go and use it, Pour a little bit on my hands. It's just a little bit because a little bit goes a long way. Rub it in and then massage away. <laughs> oh, it smells amazing with that avocado and that eucalyptus. Very nice. And there you have it. Your own massage oil ready to go. Told you it was super quick. If you have a label maker, probably best to put a label on this so you know for future when you go to use it. Otherwise, just keep it in a certain spot on your shelf where you know that is the massage oils. I'm actually going to invest in getting myself a label maker for all my products that I'm making because I have to keep going in and looking what is each product because I haven't got anything on it. I have to think what was this when I made it, what did I use it for, to remember what exactly is the product. So I'm investing in future on that. So a little tip for you guys if you make all these products too definitely invest in the label maker. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Today's huge shout out goes to Julie and Jake. Thank you so much for watching and sharing a lovely comment on my birthday and quarantine video. I'm so glad you liked it. If you guys want to check it out, I'll link it in the cards above for you guys to see it as well. Otherwise, if you want to see more videos like this, remember to subscribe down below in the corner and join our YouTube fam. It'd be awesome to have you on board with us. And if you want to see more videos like this one, I will also share my playlist right next to me where you guys can see videos like this one and others there if you want to check that out. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching this video today and sticking out the whole thing with me. I'm so glad you enjoyed it. Well, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you in my future videos. Bye.